Oh. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe I shouldn't have taken that fight. There was so many shields. Alright, so pay attention to the cooldowns here, especially the E and R cooldowns. So in these fights, you want to make sure that your E is either on cooldown or has at least um, three seconds of cooldown while you're ulting. Um, and the reason for this is like in these fights, you want to maximize your healing and shielding. But um, so you want to channel your ult, but if you're channeling your ult while your E is up, you're wasting cooldown time. So we can watch it again to see slower. And so looking at it slower, you can see a shield kit at the start. So now it could be right to ult because shield's on cooldown, but it doesn't seem like it's needed right now, and it seems like I can get another shield up before ulting again. So I just hold the ult, and um, now that shield is up again, I can use it on Caitlyn, and now that it's on cooldown, start ulting and channel the ult. And then by the time I'm done channeling the ult, shield will almost be off of cooldown again. Um, obviously it's dangerous if you're trying to wait uh, for a shield to come up to use your ultimate because they can just die, but here it's okay because I have 45% cooldown reduction, so the shield's probably uh, going to be up again before Kate dies. So I'll have time to shield her before ulting. 